Mel Gibson was pulled over early Friday morning for speeding and drunk driving, it could have been a standard celebrity traffic stop. But it's what the star who first became famous as Mad Max allegedly did next that has Hollywood talking. Reporter Harvey Levin first broke the story. He became uncooperative, profane, threatening, at times violent, banging himself against the car, inside the car, um, tried to escape. Levin obtained the arresting deputy's notes, which say the handcuffed actor also began a barrage of anti-Semitic remarks. The Jews are responsible for all the wars, asking the deputy, was he Jewish? Initially, none of Gibson's actions were made public. One sheriff's spokesman told reporters the actor was arrested without incident or special treatment. And absolutely no favoritism to the suspect was shown. The sheriffs lied. They just flat out lied. Levin says the department changed reports and covered up for a celebrity who supports L.A. Sheriff Lee Baca and his charities. It's really kind of outrageous, outrageous for them to act like there's no cover-up here. Of course there's a cover-up. The Sheriff's Department now promises an internal investigation and says nothing will be sanitized. In a written statement, Gibson blamed the disease of alcoholism and said, I am deeply ashamed of everything I said and I apologize to anyone who I have offended. That's not good enough for critics who point to his film, no, The Passion, no. and say he's long been an anti-Semite. So I hope uh, that he'll find the words to be remorseful. He hasn't. And I hope that there are consequences. There need to be consequences in this country for bigotry. But in a town where all that seems to matter sometimes are box office receipts, it's unclear what the consequences might be for Gibson. Vince Gonzalez, CBS News, Hollywood.